What up everyone, I'm Roy here, your B-Boy Academy instructor. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a very simple top rock move based off CCs and it's called the side kicks. So this is what side kicks look like. It pretty much looks like CCs, one of the more foundation moves that I've taught you guys. It looks like this, boom, kick, out, da, da, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so uh, going into context of a CC, it pretty much uh, goes the same thing in terms of kicking this one leg out. You don't want to kick it out too far where it looks awkward. Okay, that may look cool being on the ground, but I personally think it looks kind of weird. So, what you want to do, I'm going to start off with my right leg. Okay, I'm going to start step with my left, kick out this way, boom. And, I have, and my hands sort of have a running motion. I, you want to keep your hands sort of in action when you're doing this. You don't want to look silly. Okay, or you always want to have some sort of action with your hands. So, so you don't look like you're just boring or dead in terms of your dance. So for me, I have a sort of running motion, boom, and I come back, once, once I, I bring this foot back, it's called this one, one, two, okay? Once I step back on my foot, okay? I step back on my right, kick with my left, two, three, okay? I switch my feet, and I hop onto my right foot, and I kick this leg out, four, okay? So let's start off uh, super slowly with that. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, but a little slower. Okay, we're gonna start off one, okay? Kicking this leg out, two. Left foot is in front, I'm on my right leg. Switch feet, three. I'm now on my left leg, kicking out my right, four. Cool? Now let's repeat the same process, okay? So let's start on this side now. So six, seven, eight, one, two, Three, four, again, five, six, seven, eight. Cool? So now you can see how you do both sides. Okay, so uh, let's do one entire eight count, go on both sides. So let's start, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool? So five, six, one more time. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight okay so let me show you let's try going a little faster now so five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight cool so when it goes with the music it's actually going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so when it goes to actual tempo and what do you call it uh once you start trying to put it with the music really take the time to sort of go beat by beat <laughs> Just go with the bass, go with the drums, and once you feel more comfortable, uh, learn how to, uh, first and foremost, make sure you can count with the music, make sure you can clap on beat. Uh, that's super important. If you're otherwise you're just throwing moves, and uh, that really looks terrible with the music. You want to be able to make sure you can syncopate the moves along with the music. So uh, that's a side note right there. But anyways, uh, make sure you can do these moves slowly, beat by beat, before you can go actually go full tempo. This might, uh, general movement for my class classes is, is a sort of tempo motion that I want to go at that speed. So anyways, let's do it one more time. Actually, two more times I'll be doing it uh, 45 degrees in the next one profile. So let's go uh, one eight count going both sides. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This way, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight cool so that's about it uh, I'd say it's a basic intermediate kind of move uh, the side kicks uh, I, you can use that to add, really add it to your top rocks give it to give your move some variation and remember don't just rely on this the moves itself to create the dance what really creates the dance and these moves and really what really gives it life is you the life you give and how much fun you're doing the moves okay so if you're just doing sort of this sort of motion and I really really performing it and giving it the life it deserves, then the move sort of isn't serving you. So you really use the moves that you can really uh, be honest and really like honest in terms of really being expressive in what you're doing. So if this move really just makes you feel weird, maybe it's not for you. Uh, maybe you just like, a, uh, maybe a different move might serve you in terms of your b-boy. So that's it, simple sidekicks going side to side, really take into account everything that I just said, all the, all the suggestions. But other than that, I hope you guys are having fun. I'll catch you guys in the next video.